You have to lose some weight. Hey guys, Grüße aus Deutschland, greetings from Germany. Did I not announce yesterday that I'm not gonna react to her uh, two videos that she's posted since she's, well, actually she's posted three videos since she got back uh, from uh, uh, Canada in uh, that one uh, a huge kitchen restock uh, haul, of course, only unhealthy foods, the healthy foods that she did purchase, she's probably going to turn into an uh, unhealthy slob. And, of course, uh, the mukbang uh, a story time, my rice a roni recipe was proof of that. And, guys, I told you, as soon as she gets back uh, from Canada, we're just going to get mukbang. She hasn't learned anything. But um, overnight, she's posted having a hard time. Uh, her last hurrah mukbang pizza and ramen, which of course is a joke because she said that her last hurrah uh, was uh, in Canada. And uh, then she had another last hurrah with the, um, uh, with the uh, trough of uh, rice and uh, tilapia. And uh, then, uh, of course, uh, 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 this video here, the grocery haul, she only showed food, but uh, mukbang story time, completely boring, repeating herself from uh, vlogs before where she had talked about uh, her flight uh, from Canada to Kuwait, and now she's trying to make us believe that that is her last hurrah. It's just like I said in my last video where I posted a, a message for Chantal and Amber, these women do not care about their health. They just keep, you know, doing mukbangs, keep talking about weight loss, but not losing any weight. They have completely given up on the idea of losing weight or ever becoming healthy again. And it shows in their videos. They keep turning in circles. And um, I'm going to see what I can use from the latest she has posted, the last hurrah, but I doubt that there's anything new. So just for the records, um, the video is titled Last Hurrah, Mukbang, Pizza and Ramen, uh, portions for three people she has in front of her. And um, of course she looks sad because that's going to get people to click on her video and uh, having a hard time. Unbelievable. And there she is looking miserable as always with uh, two troughs, but there's going to be a third one. Let's see what she had to say. Hi guys, assalamu alaikum, how are you? What's up? How are you? How are you? Um, well, I'd say I'm okay, but I've been better. Well, you keep looking at yourself in the viewfinder, you should actually see that you are not looking well at all. Also, did you not say in Canada that you're not going to drink juices anymore? This is the second juice from what we can tell or from what I've seen. The first one was at the airport when you landed, and this is the second one. Did you not say that you, you're only going to drink water? What happened to that? I'm going to have some orange juice. Of course you do, because you don't have diabetes. You don't have to worry about your blood sugar uh, levels. Why not have orange juice? Um, as you can see, I'm not having something too healthy. Yeah, again, that that is the standard on your channel. And this is a... A messing up kind of meal. I'm just going to... No, every one of your meals is a messing up kind of meal. To be honest, that's what it is. Well, being honest is no longer the problem on your channel. It is that you are actively killing yourself. You are on the fast track to the incinerator, you and Amber both, and you don't seem to care. None of you. And I would like to repeat it in this video, even though I said it in the, uh, in the previous video, and that is you need to be aware of the fact that you might not go out with your heart just stopping, but uh, that you could end up having a stroke and uh, half of your face drooping down, half of your body being paralyzed. Does that ever cross your mind? Does that thought ever register in your reality? I guess not. You know. Yep, I have the orange shoes. Go ahead. Bismillah. And look into the viewfinder while you have it. It is it is unbelievable to me how these women can continue to look into the viewfinder with all the mukbangs that Amber also did on her channel. They watch themselves stuffing their faces. They watch themselves getting bigger and bigger. And yet they keep looking into the viewfinder, repeating the same activity over and over again, eating unhealthy foods. And uh, Chantal doesn't care. 
even though I feel guilty saying that when I'm indulging. Feeling guilty? Hmm. Sounds a little bit like food anxiety. Are you still watching Amber's videos too? Pickles, ramen, homemade pita pizzas. Sodium, sodium, grease, nothing healthy. You have to lose some weight. You have to lose some weight. It's almost like watching an animal. And then they have the audacity to come on camera and say uh, they hate when people dehumanize them. Well, if you act like an animal uh, that is completely self-unaware, what do you expect? And hey, my money is on this not being the last hurrah. She's going to continue with the mukbangs. So this is, I wouldn't consider this a binge. And you're filming it? Is that glorifying obesity and uh, having a, or pretending to have a binge eating disorder? Is that what's going on in your channel now? Dude, mm-mm. But it's an extra meal that's not healthy. You have to lose some weight. And then why film it is what I would like to know. Like, uh, wh what is going on in her head? I would like to understand, like, um, gosh, I'm starving. I'm going to pig out and I'm going to film it because I need content. Is that the thought process in her head? Although today all I had was... You have to lose some weight. I haven't even heard it yet and I already know it's just lies. And chicken and rice and a croissant. Wait a minute, the chicken and rice that you filmed as your last mukbang, the rice aroni thing, which, by the way, it's just a technicality, but in your last mukbang, the rice aroni one, uh, you said that vermicelli is rice. That is not rice, that is pasta. Okay? It's not rice. So she had uh, pasta with rice, and she has diabetes. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, and a whole bunch of sunflower seeds. <laughs> you have to lose some weight. You want to know what my brain tells me before eating something like this? I can't waste this content. I need money. It just kind of... The urge to eat stuff like this overpowers any, I swear, any survival instinct, anything like that. You have to lose some weight. Then maybe you should get professional help. Why do you not get professional help? Why do you keep giving in to your food addiction when they told you in Canada uh, what tools you could use, what places you could go to in order to get help? But here we are seeing you sitting down day after day doing mukbangs again, just like I predicted. You have to lose some weight. You have to lose some weight. And watching herself, that is so absurd. It's, I, I do not understand. They keep watching themselves. And as a result, they keep getting bigger. And yet they continue this behavior. Hot pepper. Oh, bitter. Bitter pepper. Are you still watching your sugar numbers? Where is the uh, the device that you measure it with? Have you taken your blood sugar during the last few days, or are you just ignorant? But I'm gonna say it. Like I always do, with the intention to make that the case, this is a last hurrah. No, this is just you stringing your audience along because you have absolutely no plans of watching what you're eating. Look at that trough of ramen. Nothing but empty calories. So... I don't think I should buy these anymore. 
Who am I kidding? I feel trapped because I feel like on one hand, hand if I deprive myself fully, I, I tend to overeat or binge on junk food and on the things that I deprive myself. But then to fully, as a food addict, that's as a binge eater, as a food addict, to get rid of the cravings and that, I have to reset my system, which means eating clean. You have to lose some weight. Yeah, I don't know about that. And her making statements like that while she's shoveling the ramen in her face is an abomination. She should not be sitting there anymore talking about it, just like I said about Amber. They need to stop sitting there com complaining about the uh, consequences of their addictions, but continue their addictions on camera. They need to go away and maybe talk about the therapies that they have, but not even Amber could do that. Uh, she she She's not intelligent enough to lie about going to a therapy. I mean, actually going to a therapy and uh, maybe being medicated with I don't know what, um, and then talking about that. But constantly seeing them getting bigger and bigger and their mental health getting more rotten with every day that goes by is not helping anyone that is harming people in the audience. Well, if any of you want to let me know, how you got control of yourself. You have to lose some weight while she is stuffing her face she is talking about this i'd be willing to hear <laughs> you're not gonna do anything about it you're gonna jump into that casket faster than uh you think in the comments you have to lose some weight as if she would listen to her audience. If they fall, if, uh, walk into that trap and say something in the comments uh, about what they would recommend her uh, doing to overcome this, she's just going to hate on them anyway. You have to lose some weight. The fact alone that she can look at herself with that bathing cap on, sorry, no offense, but uh, we all know that to her it's just a costume to hide her uh, fat masses on her uh, neck, around her neck and her head. And uh, does, does that not wake her up at all? I mean, obviously not. Like, I ate healthy. And then at night, when I eat healthy all day, I feel starving like I didn't eat. Yeah, that's another lie. You have to lose some weight. Bitter pepper. Look at that. Keep ramming it into your mouth and not feeling bad for your body at all. So weird. Yeah, because it's a lie. It's not even true. If these women ever stayed away from fast food, salt-laden food, MSG-laden food, you know, all the unhealthy foods for an entire day, they would see that their bodies crave the healthy, you know, the steamed veggies or whatever. If they if they ate clean for just one day, they would realize how her, their bodies would take a deep breath and, and would appreciate that kind of sustenance, you know. But they never give it a try. They just keep gulping the uh, high caloric beverages and uh, portion size, of course, ridiculous again. Not to mention the quality of the food. You have to lose some weight. Yeah, keep chugging it. <coughs> and then always a trough. If she sat there and had a third of of that uh, uh ramen mountain it it would not be so bad 
It's calories in, calories out. You sit on your ass all day long, shoveling troughs of unhealthy foods into your mouth. Of course, nothing's going to change. You have to lose some weight. Look at that pig. Look at that pig. Mm. Yeah, keep shoveling it in. And then complain about the uh, health problems you have resulting from that. I love this stuff. Of course you do. It got you to 450 pounds. Just keep going and see what happens. You know how I make it? I don't care. And I'm going to fast forward. You have to lose some weight. Keeps looking into the viewfinder. That is so odd. I can't, I can't get past it. I know I've seen it hundreds of times with her and uh, Amber, but I, I don't get it. They look at themselves. You know, there there used to be the mirror diet where you were supposed to sit in front of a mirror and look at yourself as you're eating uh, a food. You know, to realize, am I eating large portions? Am I eating like a pig? Uh, do I uh, chew enough? Like a few years ago, they said, chew at least 40. Uh, every bite, you're supposed to chew 40 times. In her case, uh, the bite size... Uh, she uses she would have to probably uh, chew a hundred times but she only chews like three or four times and then then swallows it down and so the mirror diet was supposed to work I never did it because I, ca I, I, I just don't you know but these women look at themselves while they're eating and they're still not getting what is going wrong There's so many pizzas are busting too. You got tomato sauce on your cheek, honey. Hi. You have to lose some weight. Sure, three bites in a row. I'm done. Uh, last hurrah, my butt. Um, she's just doing another mukbang and she's trying to title it in a way to where people don't come for her. And so I came for her anyway and I'm done with this. Um, I have better things to do with my time and so I'm out. Let me know what you think. Let, let me know if there are any people left out there that believe that she's ever going to lose weight. All right, you guys, I'm going to go. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.